With this march, we are connecting the fight for decent jobs and fair pay, for dignity, kindness, and respect, no matter your gender or your sexual orientation, the fight for the right to clean air and clean water, and the right to a livable climate and a safe future, no matter where or when you were born. Because let's face it, if you're a young person today, your future, if we stay on the path we're on right now, your future looks kind of scary. Right. My future looks kind of scary, and I'm not even that young. We have a very small window of time to take dramatic, transformational action to avert cataclysmic climate change. We have less than 12 years, and that's not hyperbole, that's science. So when it comes to our planet's life support systems, we're in a serious hole, and when you're in a hole, Stop digging! Stop drilling! Stop fracking! Big oil can't drill or frack or mine without money. So Wells Fargo and every other bank has to stop funding the fossil fuel industry. If we cut off the flow of money, we cut off the flow of oil. Wells Fargo is the fourth largest bank in the U.S. This institution has the power to take action on climate at a scale this crisis calls for. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, let's face it, this bank really needs some good PR. <laughs> so Wells Fargo, we're here to tell you today, if you really want to re-establish yourself, then join the big European banks that have already started divesting and be the first American bank to divest from fossil fuels. This weekend, we walked 34 long miles to be here. And, and true fact, it's actually over 36 miles. We, we changed the route a little bit. And we came here to crash Wells Fargo's annual founding day party. We are here to say it is time to wake up and smell the climate changing. Wake up and see that the world is changing whether you like it or not. Yeah. And if Wells Fargo won't move their money, we're going to start moving it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Stick around, we're going to have a little card cutting ceremony here in a little bit. So if you're ready to cut up your card, please think about that. We've got a few people who are going to do that with us. So we can't ignore the science anymore, and our numbers are growing. The divestment movement is growing. We are rising like the oceans. Over 200 people participated in this march this weekend. Some of them can't be here, but raise a hand if you marched at least one part of the march. All right. All right, raise your hand if you marched the whole thing. One of the marchers, Adele, here she is, who walked 34 miles to be with you today. Good afternoon, San Francisco! I'm Adele and I'm from 350 Silicon Valley and we organized this march to fossil fuel freedom. And after three days and 34 miles, you'd think we'd be a zombie crowd, but I tell you what, I've never felt more alive. from Palo Alto to here today. So, why Wells Fargo? Well, their headquarters is right here in our backyard. 